Hold here. Stop it. I couldn't attack it. And the gate got destroyed. Fantastic. Well, at least we won and we didn't have to deal with the Zerg. But I wonder what was up there with the ram. Because clearly there wasn't a scanner malfunction. Clearly there was Zerg. Wonder what's the, the issue on Duran's side? Or what? Or is he the revolver ocelot of this game? Keep backstabbing people. Okay, look. If he starts, you know, eyeing up your back, he isn't checking you out, okay? He doesn't have a back fetish. He's measuring you up to see which knife fits best, okay? Yeah. I actually remember seeing a comic about that, and I'm basically after ripping off the entire joke. I apologize. Why are they back on Braxis? Admiral, the fugitives Minx and Raynor escaped through the warp gate due to the intervention of the Zerg. But shortly before our forces were overrun, Vice Admiral Stukov took control of a large contingent of troops and came here to the planet Braxis. Why would he abandon the battle on Iron? Why has he come back to Braxis? I mean no offense, Admiral. But perhaps Stukov's loyalties are not as strong as you once believed. Because you are young and foolish, Lieutenant, I will pardon that insult. Alexei and I have been friends since long before you were born. However, he must be found. Stukov is here. He will account for his actions. Admiral, our sensors have detected a fully functional psi disruptor on the planet's surface directly below our position. It would appear that the Vice Admiral did not destroy the psi disruptor on Tarsonis as was ordered. What? Impossible. I warned you, Admiral. Stukov has betrayed you. He's reconstructed the Psy Disruptor in order to sabotage your mission in this sector. I can't believe it. Yet, the evidence is incontrovertible. Alexei, what have you done? Perhaps you've been right all along, Lieutenant. On my authority, enter the Psy Disruptor and deal with the Vice Admiral. Of course, Admiral. Hmm. Well, this is a, a turn I wasn't expecting. Except I know already what's happening, gonna happen. Uh, but I was beyond that. I wasn't expecting it. Beyond knowing that, uh, beyond expecting it, I wasn't expecting it. Yes. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, think, you think you think the side disruptor would be useful? You know, disrupt the Zerg, you know, beat the shit out of the mind, you know, over mind, you know, putting it in the cage, you could easily bring it back to, and put it on display in a circus. You know, the side disruptor would be useful for, you know, fucking with the Zerg, so you can, you know, you know take the overmind. Interesting bomb. Then blew up the door, it just blew up three guys on the other side. I can't control these, actually. Okay. Alright. Uh, hmm, not fully upgraded. No, none of these are. 2-1, not the best. You Ooh, this. Uh, how do you work this damn thing? Computer, locate Admiral Stukov. Access code denied. Of course. Damn it. I hate computers. Right away. Fantastic. You got it. Of course. 
I'll take care of it. Of course. So we're actually inside the side disruptor right now? Right away. Of course. Where does it hurt? Need medical attention? They got stuck. Where does it hurt? On my way. Okay. Can't exactly do this without without my healers. Uh, once I get uh, control of Duran and get past it, and get past there without, you know, um, get, losing my medics, I'll save. Yep, everyone's healed. Let's move. Okay, you stand on this. Right away. Only by UED Marines. Uh, makes sense considering the voice file. Uh, voice file. Of course. Uh, how do you work this damn thing? Computer, locate Admiral Stukov. Access code. Move. I'll take care of it. Kill. That works much better. You got it. I'll take care of it. Right away. Sorry, I, I now I want to keep playing. Right away. Patriot's blood. Uh, Terran seven. I'll take care of it. You that is a nice name for a mission. Patriot's blood. Terran civilian. But they called us traitors? But isn't he the one who betrayed us? Hmm. Unless he's referring to how this guy somehow betrayed people he's never part of. I... I don't know. I'm honestly confused. Also, oh, Simpsons reference there. Nice. Ooh, yeah, th those will be handy. And they're fully upgraded. Okay. I'm actually going to save it now. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me make sure. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to talk to you later, folks. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this so far. Believe me, there will be much more StarCraft to come. I have this to finish. I have Wings of Liberty to do. Heart, Heart is Swarm. Like see the Void. The Nova Campaign. Um, I, I need, and the, I think there's more mission packs going to come after that. I think it depends on how well the Nova Campaign does. Um, and I also plan on coming back to this game in the form of Mass Recall at some stage. I'll be starting Mass Recall from the start. Um, so if you didn't watch it the first time around, well, I'll be doing it again. Um, I don't know when I'll be doing that. It's sometime down the line. Um, I The reason I didn't finish the first time was um, basically Legacy the Void broke a lot of custom maps. Uh, mass recall was one of them and the fixes haven't come out yet as of time of recording so I just need to wait until they do but since I've started playing this I want to finish this then move on to the other games I'll come back I will be coming back and finishing it though just sometime down the line I don't know when um, because in all honesty by the time I'm done all this I'm gonna be pretty goddamn burnt out on Starcraft stuff so I'm going to have to take a break, um, go play other games, maybe take a break from RTSs as a whole, 
just that that's how much I'm going to be playing of this. So I I may start go may go back to um, you know Witcher and record more uh, re-record the first game then move on to the second one. The reason I have to re-record the first game is because I I want to continue my save file onto the second game, but my save file stuck on my Mac and because it's the Mac version, I'm not sure if it'll be it'll work on the Windows and you know all that shite. Basically, and I also Mac Mac's currently you know over to one side in a box, so and um, you know it's it's just <laughs> I know it's somehow more uh, uh, somehow less effort to replay the entire game even though it's a long game like a hundred parts or something. At least first time round, and there was a lot of faffing around me trying to understand things. Th th this time I'll be able to do it much quicker. Um, then you know, lifting the thing out and just finding a place to plug it in, and you know, finding a place to put it and all that. It's just much easier just to you know replay the game, apparently. But anyway, folks, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back soon. If you have any suggestions for games you would like me to cover, feel free to list them uh, to name them to me in the description. Keep in mind I'm not covering any game by Warner Brothers, uh, Double Fine, uh, the pe people who do Nuclear Throne, and Sega. Sega because they apparently screw people over in the past. Um, Warner Brothers because every game has to be less than five minutes if there's gameplay, and. The um, other two because of more personal issues with some people working on the games. One with for Double Fine it's Tim Schafer, the other for some other guy. Um, I've insulted and mocked some stupid shite they've said. So, well I've insulted them, I haven't insulted the stupid shite. I don't think you can really insult the speech. Um, so, yeah. I just feel uncomfortable covering one of their games. In case... Yeah. It's just, I, I want to be very protective of my channel. Don't want anything happen to it. I'm not saying they would do anything. I just don't know if they would. They might, you know. It's a case of, you know, fear of the unknown and all that. If you get me. So, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back soon to record more. And I'll talk to you soon. Adios.